Wow. My goodness. Hey guys. <laughs> oh no, there's Guava Molly. What the heck? So how's everybody doing? I'm gonna clean this up for a second because I was not expecting that. To just be so sticky on my elbows. Okay, today we're gonna talk about when people got you in some mess. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Sometimes you end up getting in some kind of mess you didn't sign up for. <sighs> what do I mean by that? Well, um, for starters, I posted something not too long ago for somebody who was uh, cheating on someone. And I wasn't trying to be in any kind of mess. I was just trying to enjoy my um, a few days off, you know, and just enjoy my time hanging out, you know, trying to gather my thoughts, prepare for whatever was next, my next steps. Okay, I guess. <laughs> and so what happened was this was um this was kind of interesting because this girl wanted me to go and meet the, her lover. First of all, I don't really get down like that. She knew that. And then I didn't like him. And she was like, well, why don't you like him? Like, as if it was so personal, like I'm supposed to like this fornicator, this guy who's just taking advantage of a bad situation. And then she said a few days later, I really want you to meet my boyfriend. And I'm like, bro, I just said, I mean, I, I, I was so focused on myself at that point and just like getting back and um, to different modalities, different mindsets. And this was just kind of like a really fun, hey, let's go hiking. Hey, let's go eat. Hey, let's go to the beach. Hey, And it was just so fun after going from a very regimented schedule. Like I told you guys, I seriously have this whiteboard that I travel with everywhere. And um, I, it goes inside of my suitcase. So every day I'm always kind of like looking at the whiteboard, the, what all these goals, everything I have, I have to do when I have to move around. And I just wanted to enjoy myself. But then the homegirl had me in a situation which was just kind of like, you know, first of all, when she was in that cheating situation, I mean, that's going to be embarrassing when she finally tells her partner, listen, um, I haven't been faithful to you. It's going to hurt and it's going to be embarrassing. And then you're going to think, you're going to just think all those people who knew and you want me to be one of those smiling faces like, hi, nice to meet you. Like, you know, I wouldn't sign up for no kind of mess like that. So, sorry, I didn't mean to put that out of your, your uh, frame. So I, I wasn't signed up for any kind of mess like that. I wrote something on an Instagram post and I was telling people, listen, there's going to be a time where you need to start making, you get this unction in your spirit and who to make cuts. Now, <laughs> this is different and I feel like I kind of want to go into this. So we will because, hey, we're going live for the next few days. I, yeah. So just so you know, you can expect me around this time. So um, I wasn't expecting all of this kind of mess. Like, you know, women can be very catty and it doesn't matter if it's in a church setting or whatever. Sometimes people are focused on themselves and a lot of times, even myself, I am very much, um, I'm very much like this. I really just kind of need to be alone. I can't really be around a whole lot of people. And I can come across like, oh, she doesn't want to talk to anyone. But really, I'm like, okay, I, I have very tunnel vision when I'm walking somewhere. I have to go to this meeting. I have to go and get this done. This office is closing at this time. I have to send this email. I mean, you, you understand what I'm saying. So it's just kind of like, sometimes I can be like, oh, yeah, it's really nice to meet you. And then I just keep moving. 
Well, there's like some cattiness and it doesn't matter whether it's inside of a church or if it's just like people's personal experiences. But I told you guys, I have a, I was attacked by a jaguar. So it's not like metaphorically speaking, my breast hurt. So what happened was this jaguar, <laughs> she was around. Now this is another kind of mess I wasn't trying to be in. But I mean, I got myself into it. It's all right. Hey, I live and I learn and I have the stitches to prove it. So I got um, attacked by a female jaguar who bit my right breast because she doesn't like women in certain spaces. And so I kind of felt that, uh, that there are some women that can be very catty. So, um, oh my goodness. When it comes to like being in a lot of mess, now let me just go back and explain. I am not the same genus and species as a jaguar. Let me even type in what is, um, what is the genus and species of a jaguar? Like, I just don't even know. Let me see. So as humans, we are homo sapien. So the first thing is, um, so a genus and species, it belongs to Mammalia carnivora felomoria feliidae. We're homo sapien. Anyway, the point was this female jaguar was out with other men and it had no other problem until a feminine and a feminine of woman stepped into the space. And that's when she wanted blood. You can be around females and you're just kind of like not sure about them. You know, in fact, I had a really interesting dream last night i i don't really want to share it yet because i feel like i still have other things i need to piece together like what is this so um i want you guys to be really careful when people you can either feel in your spirit this person is not really very friendly this person is just introverted and they don't have the words. This person is going through depression or it's just a stage. But when people have you in some kind of mess because you can either feel like, oh, my breast is starting to hurt. This person is just catty or they have bad intention for me. Just do what you can to focus on that. Now, the thing that's going to help you separate yourself from, I just don't feel like I like her, is something inside of your um your spirit. A lot of it is also your morals and your values. So if you're around someone who has you in some kind of mess and they're stealing, cut it off. They say in GD, every other word, cut it off. There's no reason to be around people like that because why? Like why? Then your morals soon be, become corrupt. They say that good, um, if you hang around like different types of people, they're going to corrupt your good character. Now, I have some stories about that, too. I mean, I'm definitely, I'm not old. I think to even a lot of people, my grandparents, I'm kind of a spring chicken. <laughs> but I've definitely had some experiences. So I can tell you guys beyond a shadow of a doubt, it's really true. People will have you in all kinds of mess. And if there are some moral or ethical standings that you have, don't cross those. Really, it's better to be alone than to be in some kind of mess. And you'll know who to distance yourself from because of that. So I'm getting feelings in my own personal spirit as well. Like, hey, you know. Sometimes it is what it do, what it be, what it is. Uh, but if if people got you in some kind of mess the first time, trust it might happen again. Now, it's different if you're saving a friend, right? A friend needs, um, you know, they're clinically severely depressed and they're going through suicidal attempts, cutting. Um, they're in a bulimic cycle, anorexia. 
sometimes we don't know how to handle those. That's not the kind of mess I'm talking about fights. I'm talking about, um, now it's okay to be upset about something, but sometimes it's just, I can't explain completely, but just trust your spirit. This wasn't really a good connection. Yeah, that was great. It just depends. It really just depends. So with that said, I want you guys to be careful. If you have a moral standing and somebody's got you in some kind of mess talking about, oh, come meet this person, just think about what it would be like to be in the person's shoes. Oh, I'm cheating or, oh, I'm seeing this girl and that one. And the person really thinks everything's okay because nobody said anything and it's uncomfortable. That did not, I didn't feel good being in that situation where I was also being compromised. So I just kind of, had to kick the girl out of my life because I mean, I just, that's not something I stand for. It was just so uncomfortable. So, and I think she really wanted other people to cut, covered her uh, discomfort. Yeah, I mean, and is it my secret to tell or something like that? It just, when being in that kind of complicated situation, I didn't feel like it was comfortable or safe for me to be in those. Okay, guys, don't get in any kind of mess. Just pray don't have me in any kind of mess. Don't have me in any kind of mess. Now, personality clashes happen. Not everybody is perfect. But um, Patty LaBelle said in a book you cannot, in, called Patty's Pearls, you can't fall if you're on your knees. So always take it to the Father. All right, guys, I'll see you. Have a good night.